Hi, in this video I'll show you how you can quickly create a new Cogito application using the Cogito Maven archetype. I'll also show you some of the exciting hot reload capabilities that our Cogito project offers. Cogito is our new cloud-native business automation project for building intelligent applications. It uses modern cloud-native technologies like Quarkus and OpenShift to build business process, workflow, decision and rules applications that have an extremely fast startup time and a very low memory footprint fully targeted at cloud and containers. Let's first create a new Cogito project using our Maven archetype. I'll add the exact command to the description of this video. After the project has been created, we can open it in Visual Studio Code. Cogito provides business automation tooling like a BPMN and DMN editor as a Visual Studio Code plugin. This allows developers of cloud-native applications to build a full business automation microservice from within a single IDE using the tooling they know. What we see here is a very simple business process with a start node, a script node, and an end node. Let's quickly look at the script node. The script node's implementation is simply a system app print line that prints Hello World. Now, let's start this application in Quarkus dev mode. We'll open a terminal and we run the command maven clean compile quarkus dev. This will clean the target folder, compile our project, and run quarkus in quarkus dev mode. Quarkus dev mode allows us to use the hot reload capabilities of quarkus that allow us to make changes to our business process, which are immediately reflected in the application once we re hit the REST endpoint. So let's open the application quickly. It's on localhost 8080, and there is a Swagger UI provided out of the box. We can see here the generated REST API from Cogito, and we can start a business process from here. So we click and try it out, and we run execute, and we see that we get a return value with a business process ID. Now let's go back to the terminal and we see that our business process has actually started and printed hello world. We can now show the hot reload capabilities of Quarkus by making a change to our business process and then hitting the endpoint again without actually restarting Quarkus. So let's change this business process here and we'll change the hello into goodbye. And we see save here and we change the implementation here as well so hello world becomes goodbye world and we save the process so we've now saved the process and we don't need to restart the application we don't need to recompile we basically go back to the restful endpoint here the default endpoint and we hit execute again and we can see that we have a different business process id and when we now go back to Visual Studio Code, we see that the process has started and has not printed Hello World, but has now printed Goodbye World. We can also see that Quarkus did a hot replace in a total time of one second. This was a quick demonstration of Cogito, how to create a new Cogito application using the archetype, opening it in Visual Studio Code, running it in Quarkus dev mode, doing a request via the Swagger UI, changing the business process, and showing the hot reload capabilities of Cogito and Quarkus. I hope you've enjoyed this video, and goodbye.